you, you made me think of something there. Let's go around the horn with this bet allocation. So Berkey just said he's he was looking at a first five, targeting a first five there. Where are you guys, you know, 25 games in as far as bet allocation? The first fives, full games, totals, team totals, run lines. I know, Amal, you're a big run line guy. Like, where would you say? I know we don't have the data, but as far as what you're leaning on, bet allocation. Go ahead. Jump in. So I'll start with for run line. To, for example, the race today at minus 135, only plus 115 on the run line. I wouldn't play Tampa on the run line. I would just play them straight up. But the majority of my plays, Patrick, are run line. If I take a dog, it's a reverse run line. Perfect example, Detroit against the Mets the other day. They were plus, one, uh, I think, 160, 150 on the money line, plus 310 on the reverse run line. Um, and so I'm a big proponent of that. I don't play first fives, generally speaking. It's very, very rare that I would take a first five. Um, I think I've taken one all year. And I lost that one. But to me, I'm a big proponent of full game in terms of the totals versus the um, sides. Probably right now, 65, 35 totals. Hey, boys, jump in. So I actually do have a tracking sheet that I post every day in my article. Uh, of course he does. Looks like um, 54 of the plays I've made here so far have been full game, either money line or run line. Uh, out of about eight, out of 87 plays, not including today's, which haven't been tracked yet, obviously. Um, you know, look, for me, I, I think one of my strengths is being able to analyze bullpens and try to find situations where bullpens are a little bit compromised, uh, you know, for the Rays, for example, today. And maybe the Rays lose the first five and win the full game. I don't know. But like I said, based on their bullpen usage, there are guys that will be going out there tired. There are guys that will be going out there on back-to-back -back days, stuff like that. I tend to want to shy away from that with a run line. I've actually played a couple more home team run lines than I expected to this year, which is tough because they're not guaranteed to bat nine times. But if I felt like there was a big enough edge in that type of situation, I would do that because that is reflected in the price, knowing that they don't bat nine times if they have a lead and could win the game by one. So most of my plays are going to be full game sides. I'm not very good at totals in baseball for some reason. Um, I've just really never have been. It's never really been a strength of mine. So a lot of it is full game, either money line or run line. Now it's perfect. You can check out the article vison.com and tracking bets. So important for new betters. Take note of what Burke just said there. Big guy. What do you got? Uh, also, that is our pro tip courtesy of Adam Burke today. Keep track of bullpen usage. And if you like a number and you like the pitcher, adjust and go to the first five, not the full game. If a bullpen has been overused, I think it's a very good pro tip on his part. Uh, I, Last year, I was doing a lot of first fives, and this year I have not had a lot of success. In fact, I've had a lot of situations where the team that I bet on the first five lost the first five and then won the game. So I have since corrected and adjusted to more full games than team totals, followed by some run lines, and I think I've had some moderate success there, especially when getting that plus price and then first fives coming in dead last. I still sprinkle them in from time to time. Go to vsun.com slash subscribe to become a vsun pro subscriber today.